what is a symmetric matrix and uh, why is this interesting for us? That is what you will learn in this video. We have here a matrix A and a matrix B. And now we're going to compute the transpose of A, so interchange rows and columns, then we get A transpose, and we observe, hey, we get exactly the same matrix back, so and A transpose equals A. Whereas if we take B transpose, uh, we get another matrix which is not equal to B. So if you take a transpose, you will in general not get the same matrix back. Now, if you get your original matrix back, then such a matrix is called symmetric. So uh, n times n real matrix A is symmetric if A transpose equals A. Now, so that's what a symmetric matrix is. So why is it interesting? Well, we will see something of that if we try to diagonalize our matrix A. So let's try to diagonalize our symmetric matrix A. So this one over here. So first of all, we're going to compute the eigenvalues. So we have to compute the determinant of A minus lambda times I2. That will yield uh, 1 minus lambda times minus 2 minus lambda minus 4. So add the minus lambdas on the diagonal and compute the determinant. Gives us the uh, characteristic equation, lambda squared plus lambda minus 6 equals 0. We can factorize this in lambda plus 3 times lambda minus 2. So we find our two eigenvalues, minus 3 and 2. So you can already see that in this case our matrix will be diagonalizable. What happens if we compute its diagonalization? Well, uh, we have to compute the eigenvectors. So we solve a minus lambda i times x equals 0. Skip the computations, give the result immediately. We get x equals the constant times minus one half one. And do the same for the second eigenvalue. We give immediately the result. We get the constant times two one. So we indeed have a diagonalization of a. a equals p, p times z times p inverse. Uh, eigenvalues on the diagonal and eigenvectors in the matrix p. And now you see something special happening. Because if you look at the eigenvectors of p, uh, v1 and v2, you see, hey, uh, the inner product is zero, so they are orthogonal. Would that be a coincidence, or would we see that for more symmetric matrices? That is what you will see in consecutive videos.